What's up guys? I'm gonna show you guys the various ways of connecting the ASUS GT6 to create your own network to replace your existing router. I'll show you guys about making the physical connections with the ethernet cables. I'll show you guys how to expand your ports if you guys wanna do that with an unmanaged switch. And we'll start off with a typical setup. Uh, and, and it does use the ASUS router app. So use the ASUS router app. It's available both on iOS and on Android. I'm not gonna get into the app itself because it's the app itself is pretty self-explanatory. You click. You know, once you open up the app, you click plus, create a new network, you select this from the list, and it pretty much walks you through uh, what you need to do. I just want to physically show you guys the connections. Okay, so starting with the typical setup, we have a cable modem right here. If you have an ONT, in fact, I actually run an ONT, which is an optical network terminal, which is kind of like a fiber modem because I have fiber optic internet. Uh, it's pretty much very similar to this, and um, this is where the internet source is coming from and it's going inside the router. Now, if you happen to have a cable, if, if you happen to have a modem router combo, what you wanna do is you wanna disable the router portion of that. And the way you typically do that is there's usually a sticker on the modem itself that tells you how to access it. It's usually going to an IP address within the same network, uh, put in the info and then you're gonna to try to look for something called bridge mode. And what you wanna do is you wanna enable bridge mode because what that does is that disables the router. Or if there's some option that says disable router or something along those lines, uh, you know, every model will vary. You can also call your ISP, your internet service provider, uh, and ask them how to do it. Or you can ask your ISP optionally, again, if you could switch that out for just a modem because that's what I typically recommend just getting a modem by itself. So in this case, this is just a modem and this is the router. And you might also be wondering, well, what's the point of replacing the router? Um, so one of the advantages to getting a mesh system is both of these are actually physically routers, but within the network, only the main one hooked up to the modem is acting as the router. But they're both working together to increase your Wi-Fi coverage. So instead of having one, you're basically having two, or if you get a three pack or whatever, you have two or three or you know four or up to five or so that you're allowed to do to create the network. And basically they're working together, so you're gonna get overall better coverage throughout your home. And when you're walking throughout your home, you this this one and this one, they both have the same Wi-Fi name and SSID. So if you're walking throughout your home, if you're closer to this one, it'll switch you here. And then when you're walking throughout your home, if you're closer to this one, it'll switch you here. All of this stuff happens automatically. You don't need to go to your phone and say, oh, I'm close to this one, connect to that one. No, all of this is automatic. So it, it makes for a seamless experience. Anyways, assuming it's just a modem or if you have a modem router combo, you disabled that. What you wanna do is uh, remove your router. Now, sometimes I get a question, okay, well, can I use my existing router and use these as well? And the answer is technically yes, um, but it's not recommended because then you have to run these in access point mode and it, typically your best router should be your main router. Um, you, you don't want your better router not being the main one. Um, so I typically don't recommend that setup, um, but yeah. So with the new ASUSes, they come with little stickers on them and it says, oh, this is the main one. Granted, either one will work, but just you could go just off the sticker one. And what you wanna do is you wanna basically take this and plug it into the 2.5 gigabit or gigabit WAN port. So the blue port right here, which is the WAN port. Uh, and this thing can handle internet speeds of up to 2.5 gigabits. Uh, granted, these other ports are actually capped to gigabit speeds, um, so there is a loss there, but up to gigabit, this thing is phenomenal. But this is what you connect it to, and once you set it up in the Asus router app, now you have replaced your router. So now you're back to uh, technically where you were before you started. Now, if you want, you can pick the same Wi-Fi name and password as your existing router and your devices should automatically connect to this one. And both your Wi-Fi name, which is your SSID and your password, they're both case sensitive. So just as a heads up. All right, so once you get this set up, you are golden. Now inside the app, it will ask you to plug in the secondary one and it says plug it within one or three meters away, basically close enough to it. And you just power this on. So you just would basically power on the second one um, you know, plug it in and then power it on, just like obviously this, this actually needs to be powered on right there. Um, 
but yeah, you basically power this on uh, and then wait like a minute or two and this will automatically connect and then they will be connected and increase your Wi-Fi coverage. However, once the second one is set up and you see it in the app, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna disconnect it because you don't want two in the same room. Um, then you're gonna take this around 30 to 40 feet away or so, depending on you know how many walls you have, how thick your walls are and stuff like that. But basically 30 to 50 feet is a good number. I'm, my tests are around 35-ish to 40-ish feet, maybe closer to 35-ish feet. That's when I do the wireless backhaul. But basically, like you want to put it one or two rooms away. Two, depending on the walls, uh, two rooms away, essentially. And then when you plug this on and power it on, this will automatically connect to this one. You won't need to do anything in the app. Everything is done automatically. You are golden. So at this point, now you have a wireless backhaul set up. So this guy is wirelessly talking to this guy, and this guy is connected to the modem uh, via ethernet, so you are golden. Okay, so once you get that set up, you can, a, a question I get asked is, if this is wirelessly talking to this one, can I use the ports of this guy? And the answer is yes. So if you have a computer or an Xbox or PlayStation or you know whatever it is you're using that requires an, an ethernet plug, you could just plug it in and basically use that and then plug this into your device. And even though this is wirelessly talking to this guy, you will actually still get pretty good speeds. Um, and uh, yeah, so you're again, you're free to use these ethernet ports even though this is wirelessly connected to each other. Now, so next we get into wired backhaul. Now wired backhaul ensures, it, it tries to give you the best possible speeds. Granted the wireless backhaul speeds on this GT6 is really, really good. Um, but what you want to do for a wired backhaul, otherwise known as Ethernet backhaul, is you're going to take your main guy right here, and then you're basically going to plug in to any one of these three ports. Now, this says gaming port, but that doesn't actually matter. Um, you could use the first one, second one, or third one. So if I wanted to use the first one, I could. So I use that, and then when I'm coming into the secondary one, I plug it into the blue one. So this creates a wired backhaul network. And this is gonna ensure that this one has up to gigabit speeds. And again, it depends on your internet speeds, obviously, uh, but this connection from this guy to this guy is up to gigabit speed. So now this is gonna give you really, really good speed. So this is in the case like if you have wires through, if you have wires running throughout the walls, inside the walls or through the attic or something like that, and you do have ethernet in some of the rooms, you can actually connect it this way, and this will ensure you have a really good solid connection. And even in this case, again, you're free to use any of the other ethernet ports to basically connect your devices. So if you wanna connect this one, and you wanna connect this to a PlayStation 5 or a computer or whatever it is you wanna to connect to, you're free to use that. So you can use any one of these other ports and you are golden. Now, it comes to a point where you're like, okay, um, I need more ports. What do you do? Well, you get an unmanaged switch. You can also get a managed switch, but a managed switch has um, additional options that uh, if you're doing something specific, sure, get a managed switch, but like, so if you want to make different virtual local area networks, VLANs, um, if you want to separate out stuff so stuff can't see each other, devices, certain devices can't see other devices and things like that, then sure, you could get a managed switch. Uh, but if you just want to expand your Ethernet ports, I highly recommend an unmanaged switch because an unmanaged switch allows you to just expand your ports. So with this one, you can connect to any one of these ethernet ports or any one of these ethernet ports, uh, the ones that are open, and you could connect it to any one of these ethernet ports. What I like to do is I like to connect to the first one or the last one personally, but it doesn't matter. If you wanna connect it to four, that's fine. So if you connect it to four, you have these three you can use and you have these uh, four you can use. So you have seven other ports you're free to use to connect to other devices. And again, when you're connecting to other devices, it doesn't matter which port you use, that's fine. And you could plug in your device, you could plug in another one and come here and then use this port to plug into something else. That's fine as well. And 
Another question I get asked is, can I hook this up to the switch and then from the switch go to this ASUS? And the answer is yes. So you, instead of going to, so from this router, I could come to the switch and then from the switch, I could go to this secondary ASUS and basically connect it like this and then I am golden. Um, the most, I don't know if this is the most common question I get asked, but I, I do get this asked quite often is, can I connect the modem to the switch first and then from the switch go to the router and this one? And the answer is no. Um, the, the modem must connect to the router first. That is the, this yellow cable right here, this is the most important connection. After this, you're pretty much free to do a lot of stuff. Um, you have a lot of freedom after that, like you could use these ports, you could use these ports and stuff. Um, you could use, you know, connect it to a switch, use these ports. You could go from this guy to this guy to this guy. You could go from this guy to this guy to this guy. You could go from this guy to this guy to another one of these ASUSes. Um, there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, but the most important thing is you want to go from the modem to the router directly. Aside from that, you again, you have a lot of freedom. Now, another thing worth mentioning is you might have noticed that this is a Netgear uh, unmanaged switch. And can you use an, a different brand unmanaged switch with ASUS? And the answer is yes. Uh, with the switch, just like with the modem, it doesn't have to be the same brand as this. Uh, so you could get a Netgear, it will work with this. You could get a TP-Link switch, it'll work with this. So the switch brand name doesn't matter. Um, another thing worth mentioning is because this is an ASUS system, ASUS uses something called AI Mesh. So if you have an ASUS router that supports AI Mesh, you can actually connect this to the network as well. You can add it as another node within the network as well. I personally recommend getting the same one, but if you do have an ASUS router that the, again, does support AI mesh, you can connect that one. The only thing I would recommend is you connect your best router as your main router. Um, the other ones, even though they're routers, they should act as access points. And again, your best one should be your router. Um, with that said, hopefully this answered most of the questions. If you guys have additional questions, just leave it in the comment sections below. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.